We found out a little while ago that my aunt that I've told you guys about in North Carolina passed away. that tomorrow will be my last day of IVs and then either, th the, either Thursday or Friday we will have the line removed. So they're supposed to call me to schedule that <clears throat> and either one of those days I'll be going to have my line pulled and I will be free from IVs and antibiotics and I can sleep in and ride and do whatever else I want. So I am excited about that. Um, and ready for that but we're just going to run a couple errands and um, I've made the profile thing on my website for the regular bloggers since I now have one <clears throat> so today's just gonna be probably more research and things like that and hopefully a pretty chill day but I hope you guys are having a good morning so far and I'll take you guys along with me. Pork chopping, gravy, biscuits, tater tots, and a coke. Ready for breakfast. It is 4.15 now and <coughs> I've been resting for a couple hours. I'm really tired again, and I'm sick and tired of saying that. Uh, Pop just left with Amy for her soccer game. So that means I'm home alone to chill out and do whatever I want to do. Um, which probably is just going to be more resting. I haven't eaten since breakfast, even though I did eat all of my breakfast. And so I'll have to eat here pretty soon. But I'm trying to wake up, but it's not really working. Um, but <coughs> my lungs have been rattling again. And uh, so that's kind of annoying. I'm so tired. I'm just going to sit here and rest a while, I guess. I don't know why. Maybe the trip today just wore me out. Who knows? But um, they called me while we're at Sam's, and I go in Thursday at 11.15 to have my line removed. So 
that's good at least. Uh, but there's nothing else to report on at the moment. Just me being tired. Dinner has been eaten. I finished the book that I read that details um, getting through NaNoWriMo and everything and highlighted all of the passages in it that I found important. So the whole book is done and ready to be read again <coughs> when NaNoWriMo starts in a couple months. And I'm coming down to feed Tonto to get that out of the way. It's really nice out here today. It's not humid. It's cloudy. I think it's supposed to possibly rain tonight. Uh, I haven't really checked, but um, another thing. Hey, hey, you. You're covered in burrs. Why are you covered in burrs? Huh? <laughs> Um, hi, baby. You're such a good boy. Ah, oh, your tail. Um, I tried Pop's camera out today while I, while he was home. And I think I'm going to use it for my videos, for my writing channel, so that, um... I have like better quality and hopefully I can set up <coughs> my room to have some of the decorations in it that I haven't had put up since we moved down here so that whenever I film I've got those cool decorations behind me like all of the good youtubers do um so I might, depends on I guess my energy level tomorrow, but I'd like to try to get a video, like an intro video done with his camera <coughs> tomorrow so I can upload it one day. Um, but he took the camera tonight to Amy's soccer game. So, uh, I hope to have more energy tomorrow and everything. And I'm trying to figure out what to do now as far as work, but I shall see. But I'm gonna go feed him, and who knows what else I'm gonna get into. We found out a little while ago that my aunt that I've told you guys about in North Carolina passed away. Um, since Memorial Day weekend, when they found out she had cancer, until now, she survived a lot longer than any of us thought she would. <coughs> but now she's not suffering anymore. And the family sang her into heaven, they said. They got the guitar and everybody gathered around and sang as she took her last breath. Um, it still doesn't feel real to me. And I'm just hoping I'll be able to make it to the funeral because we're not sure when they're going to plan it. <coughs> and of course needing to get my line out and everything, but... I'm glad she's not suffering anymore. I just... It's, it's pretty tough when you lose someone you love. Okay, it is that time of night again where I'm going to be signing off. I um, ate some... Well, ate a sandwich and some pretzels. Because I was sitting over there, and all of a sudden, my blood sugar started 
dropping and like really quickly as so I was like trying to hurry and get a sandwich made and eat and ugh, stressful. Um and like I've noticed I like around this time at night I get really, really tired but <clears throat> I also like I can't sleep yet, so then I get really bored. And then I'm flip flopping trying to watch YouTube or Netflix or listen to music and it's not working <laughs> and nothing is like nothing is occupying me for long spans of time. So I was struggling with that before my blood sugar was dropping. Uh but yeah, I'm like in that stage. <clears throat> I need to do more planning. Well, I don't need to, but I want to do more planning for my book. But it's kind of like where you, you want to, but you lack the motivation to actually do it. And I don't really know what to do yet because I'm waiting for that notebook to come so I can start doing like the character things in it. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so I'm not sure what I want to plan. But I've been watching a bunch of videos of people doing NaNoWriMo and doing writing tips and things like that to get some more ideas and get pumped up again because I go through these phases where I get really excited and then I get like feeling like oh I'm not going to do it or it's not going to be that good or <clears throat> you know get doubts so I go like up and down and up and down um, but anyway I am going to sign off tomorrow is my last day of IVs so I am excited for that and it'll be my last night <clears throat> having to do them tomorrow I've already got all the stuff packed up and ready to put away, hopefully for a very long time. Um, and I would like to try to film a video for my new channel tomorrow, but it's just going to depend on how I feel uh, and everything. But <clears throat> I thank you guys for coming along on my journey today. I will see you guys tomorrow, and hope you all sleep well. Good night.